Now, Governor Shi Makinde of Oyo State says government does not have the facilities to store the 1,800 vaccines allocated to the state by the federal government at minus 70 degrees centigrade. Here are details of the report. At a press conference held at the government house to address the second wave of COVID-19 and issues bordering on insecurity in the state, Governor Shei Makinde noted that the number is also grossly inadequate. Therefore, the state is exploring all means of getting these vaccines to its people. He pointed out that between March 2020 and December 2020, the state conducted 20,000 tests, of which 3,000 were positive for COVID-19. Admitting that COVID-19 is still very much around and urging residents to join hands with government by slowing down the spread by taking precautions. From December 2020 to date, we have conducted a further 14,000 tests and have had about 696 positive cases. The federal government, from what we read, you know, has uh, allocated 1,800 va vaccines for your state. And again, this uh, number is uh, grossly uh, inadequate. We're exploring other means of getting these vaccines to our people. The governor also declared that the government will do everything possible to end the kidnapping and insecurity in the state by working with all security agencies, including the newly introduced Oyo State Security Network Agency, also known as Amotekun Corps. The governor maintains that the safety and security of all residents of the state remains a top priority to his government. We're also putting in place other policies to address insecurity especially with regards to youth restiveness. The safety and security of all residents of Oyo State remain our top priority. We will continue to work relentlessly to tackle cases of kidnapping and insecurity in our state. I repeat that we will ensure that any member of the Amatekun Corps proved to have been high-handed in the discharge of their duties will face the full wrath of the law. He also argued that some individuals want a Motekun to fail by feeding the public with all sorts of misinformation and fake news. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.